All right, so what we're going to do now is take a look at um, dealing with cracks. Uh, so cracks in the wood here, I don't know if you can zoom in on this, there's a crack right there. Um, that's not a bad thing, these are actually great. If you had cracks up into the receiver area, up in this area, it would not be so good. If you do have a crack, a lot of times they can be repaired, but uh, after that repair, I'd be looking for another another gun stock. Um, but we're going to focus here on these cracks. So the first thing that you're going to do is get familiar with epoxies. This is Jamestown Distributors. They are dealing with boats and water. And if there's two things that probably don't mix, it's boats and water, and you throw seawater in there as well, and it gets even worse. So these folks are experts at working with epoxies. Um, there's different epoxies, as I've learned. There's some epoxies that are for finish. There's some epoxies that go down into cracks and are very viscous. And so the epoxy that we're going to be working with today that I got from them, and so this is a very viscous, it's almost like water. And this is a two-part, uh, two-to-one ratio for a resin and hardener. And we also are going to be working with a syringe. This is a 21-gauge syringe, about an inch and a half. The length of, the, of this doesn't matter. And what I do is I take my uh, Dremel with my grinder and I just grind off the top. So um, these are uh, maybe 10 cents a piece over at uh, uh, Walgreens or something. And, right, and then here what we have is uh, just some uh, acetone so that when I start the mix, uh, my measuring, uh, and then we also have black dye, and of course there's a variety of different dyes, and you'll just use a pinch of this. This is pretty easy to find. Um, so to begin with, we'll start off with two-part epoxy. Okay. And obviously before you dip it back in the you know, resin. And so what we'll do, oops, what we'll do is uh, clean this off before we dip it down into the... Now, unlike... Um, the glass bed. Uh, epoxy does not have a long work time. Uh, so the minute you mix this, um, you want everything in place to move along quickly. Now this isn't a rush, so once you put this hardener in here, you want to move along pretty quickly. Just as a word of advice on these syringes, double check that this is screwed in. Um, I can leave to your imagination how I was reminded I had not done that. And there's also another type of syringe where I think about it, and they're called uh, retractable. The, there's some that are retractable. Do not get the retractable um, needles. What'll happen is this is too viscous, and when you put it in there and you start to uh, um, uh, press this in to take the air out, it basically, it's so viscous, it, it thinks you're done or something, and it retracts in, and it makes a complete mess. All right, so just a just an FYI on that. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and put the hardener in here. Okay. Now the black dye can get pretty messy too. Um, and so all you're going to do is literally, this is just going to almost just be like a little uh, pinprick of this stuff. I mean, that's all you need. At this point now then, this is where uh, things can, can get real messy pretty quick. Uh, so. That's why I like these little, um, I guess you could get these little uh, things in there and probably can reach in there. So that looks like about all I'm going to be able to get in there. Now what you're going to do is you want to tilt this up just a little bit. Now this thing kind of catch in there just a little bit, and I think it's right about in there. Um, there's a little edge there. If you've not worked with syringes before, I, I'm not a, I didn't know about it. And so when you're coming in here, you think it's kind of stuck. And so you give it a chance to kind of come back down. Otherwise, when you push this, it's going to come squirting out everywhere. And you can kind of see it's already coming out up there a little bit. So it's sort of, there it goes. And it just goes past that little spot. And uh, so then you're going to have this. And I'm just going to kind of, right, so what we'll do is we'll use that syringe and we're going to sort of set it right in there, down in there, 
into those cracks. And that's why I sort of shaved off the top. It allows me to kind of get um, you know, straight down on top of it to where I can force that down in there. Give him a little shot and then look for any other spots. I don't really see anything else. As that kind of goes down, just watch it because it actually will soak down into the wood deep. So um, that's pretty much it.